We're here to talk through the statue park by Jonas Gleim with an anti-symmetry theme. And also it's using a default set of tetrominoes. And one thing I'm seeing at the start is I've got five black clues. All of them are at least five cells apart. So they are reflecting the five distinct shapes. So each clue is going to be one shape. We're going to have a clue growing out here, clue growing out here, white cells coming out from this space and this uh, whatever this black uh, group is doing. It can't join all the way over to here. So we're going to take as most of this cell, but will come down to here. That means this group is going to take this cell and uh, come through there. And so at this stage, if I ask myself, where does the O go? The O isn't here, it isn't here, it isn't here, and it isn't here. The only shape that can be an O is this one. So we'll mark that into the grid. And that now means this group that's uh, taking in most of this cell takes one extra here. This takes uh, this over to here. And uh, we now have to think this can be an L or an S. This can be an L or an I. This is absolutely the I, so this trickles back to be an L makes this an S, makes this the I. Last shape to fill in the grid is a T, and we're through the grid. So a simple Monday puzzle, but useful to think through as typical in these, the full inventory, and in that there are five blackened cells and five tetrominoes to place, and they'll represent those different shapes. Placing the O was the key step to really break into this puzzle. So thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you again soon.